Everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Wind's picked up on the game. Right, I've got a couple of side quests that seem to have popped up. Uh, let's go and speak to them before actually can speak to our attack. It would be my honor to speak with you. I've heard of you, Huntress. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm, that I know. My song used to echo around Banua. Umnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath. But they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip, my bones ache, Huntress. But you, out hunting Aratak, leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. This machine, the claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been twenty winters past. We were so close to bringing the claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then, a skilled hunter. Every few years, the claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial fires. My friend became the third. This hunt, I had hoped to complete it in his honor. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuka custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banuk hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the claws than to die while it still makes children orphans. This is... Obviously important to you, Umnok. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the Claws Beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. Okay, so I've got a mission there if I want to do it. Got another side quest over here. I'm going to speak to them. You're Aloy, right? My pop... Burgund, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Varja, pleasure. 
Hey, that spear is really something. You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glen talk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banuk can get unusual. Like that spear Aratok hauls around? An ice rail. Ooh, or that weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. That didn't go well. A weapon that spits flame, huh? Like this one? I took this thing off an Osaron bandit. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing, I guess she's yours now. Why don't you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna need a bellowback snout. Any bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I think I can manage that. So, let's say someone you know happened to have a weapon like Araya's. You don't. See for yourself. <laughs> of course. Look at the... So the coils generate the spark, but the power source isn't even bolted in. I won't lie. She's beautiful. But there's beautiful, and then there's beautiful. What we need is a Stormbird Talon. Lightning flows over them like water off a goose. And I know where one is. Hunt it with me, I'll turn that weapon into your new best friend. And second best. I've got a nice rail, just like Aratox. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I'd love that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these... Yeah, that should... <sighs> right. So, believe it or not, she's operating at... Let's be generous. Half her potential. What's with the she's? <laughs> oh. Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, well, listen, if we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. This forge fire of yours, what do you need to finish it up? Like I said, a Bellaback's not ought to do. Uh, okay. You're sure you can... F you bet! Remind me what... That Thunderjaw's... So we need That's right. We can find a Thunderjaw out in the... I'll pack and meet you out there. Okay. Okay, so she's gonna hunt with me regardless. That's well, pretty cool. I'm gonna go talk to our attack first. Long notch is well stocked. As Here he is. And our scouts are watching for more frost. But our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain, the weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door. Some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were... Exhausted. No way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. I had hoped to never subject Araya to that again. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted. To return to Thunder's drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Someone has to keep Araya safe. Talk to Araya, who is up there. Inventory, I need ammunition crafting ammo I 
actually I can buy ammunition can't I so that's what I need to do I need to buy ammo I can't buy all ammunition because I need I need stuff for it. Uh, inventory is full Okay, everything's full. Uh, what else do I need? Look at these. Traps will help us. Yeah, we may need to use some of these antidotes. I don't really use these, don't really care, resources. Take as many of these as I can. Some of these. Just blaze, I haven't got. Get a load of them. That'll do. Right, this can speak. I'm not going to be doing the side quest yet. My aim of do, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to finish this quest off, this DLC like the story to it and then I want to do the main story of the game and then I was either going to take a break and play something new or I was going to do the side quest and finish it but I'm not 100% certain if I'm going to complete all side quests I might do those ones I'm not sure yet though I need my precision bow, I'm not taking... I need my inventory, I need... Sharp shot. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. Eloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider. Someone ignorant of our ways, but no, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. What are we going to find up there, Rhea? Ruins. Machines. And a door, like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can 
order you to tell me about silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you were not Aratak. And if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Von Or from the distant north. A young shaman of the Owl's Watch. A remote warrick that rarely comes south to parlay. Silence was a shaman. It was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen, holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him then returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone, as though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. A bad person, then. He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous, but also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off. But you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. What did the war do to Aratak? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banuk has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? It hasn't been easy for you, Aurea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. This time, we both will. I'd like that. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Let's do it. You can call upon the power of the old ones. What was this 
place. The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from terrible danger. Fortress? Looks more like a machine. Is that not fitting? The blue light often dwells on machines. Let's just hope that some remains here. Just making sure there's no robots hiding anywhere. Here, up and over. November twenty first, two thousand sixty four. It's been three years since I was last here, and twelve since I was right. Aloy, were you listening for something? There are memories here. Messages left by the old ones. And you can hear them. I envy you. What did they say? I'm not sure yet. Hey, you just interrupted, that's why. Data points. we got to listen to when she doesn't interrupt can't open that one Up there. Can I jump up there? Grab onto there, right, Eloy. It's a simple jump. How come she can't jump up there? You should be able to do that. It's a simple jump. Oh, okay, you have to go up those ladders. Even though you could have just jumped across. Notebook. The Return of the Director Emerus, decent hollow title. Gina, no, bad title, and we're subject. The camera crew would die boredom. Joshua, whatever, Gina. It's still the most excitement this hell cave has seen in a long time. Gina, your standards for exciting are depressingly low. Joshua, I'll squeeze what I can out of this. Thanks. You always were a little sweet on Kenny. What? No way, these are enormous. Besides, he was too busy mooning over Anita. I want to know what he's doing here in the first place. It's not normal. He helped engineer the most advanced geothermal facility in history, then rolled off into the sunset. Now he wants to check up on his masterwork. Seems normal to me. But why now? He keeps poking around in the cooling facility and asking questions about Cyan. Do you think there's something wrong? Cyan. Sorry. Last I checked, there's been no deviation in any of our readings since the most recent microquake swarm. Maybe Kenny likes taking field trips on Pharaoh's Dime. It's been 14 years. They would have frozen those accounts by now. Has it been that long? Man, I'm old. Not old, just boring. Calm, calm. I'll 
get rid of that. There's a few robots here. Maybe I could turn one on our side. Machines. At least we have the job on them. Hey, there's another one down there that's small. I could kill that one out the Oh, there's loads down there. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, there's quite a few of them. Uh, maybe not fight them. Let's try and get around them if we can. Okay, we actually... Ac oh, okay, we have to fight these. There's no other way around it, we have to go and fight them, don't we? Yeah, I'm going to have to fight them. Let's take them quietly. Well, you said quietly, I don't do quiet. It's fine. So I can mess them all up. You take the smaller ones, I can take the big guy. There we go, there we go. Do 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 do. Might be great. around first I'm searching the robots no room. that should do it Varja can finish your forge fire now return to Varga not yet okay I've got to go that way I wonder if there's anything for me to find loot or lore Oh, there we go, Lord. That kiss. Must have been something in the spring of 2047, about six months after the mine facility opened. We're behind schedule, a new data indicates that an incident was close, maybe only weeks away. I was exhausted, losing weight, barely speaking, except to give orders. Passed by Anita in the battery depot. She looked at me and frowned, then pulled me into this room and kissed me. A long kiss, the best kind. I can still remember the feel of her hand on the back of my neck. After she looked at me and smiled and went back to work without saying a word. I'll never forget that moment, her touch, her unspoken generosity. After she left the project I spent years beating myself up for not keeping her. Somehow. Every time I ran into her at a conference I felt thrilled and lost and confused all at the same time. Always hoping we might have a few drinks and well, rekindle. It was only after I saw her on stage in a hollow. 
in 58 accepting the Mind Challenge Award in Austin, with Elizabeth Solbeck presenting no less, glowing and happy and fulfilled that it dawned on me that I hadn't done anything wrong at all. I could finally see that she had what she wanted and it simply wasn't me. Don't worry about my pace, mate. I'm just looking around. If you don't like me searching for law, then you carry on without me. So I've got things I want yes, to do. Well, if it's this way, that means I'm going to go the opposite way to get law. I'm going to have a look around. Yeah, when I'm done, thank you. At least you've got a little bit more patience with me. You know I want law. Is there anything else? I don't think there is. Okay, let's go then. farther now. This is where you lost everybody in this place. Last we were here, we fought our way through there. The machines overcame us. We retreated, dropping supplies and taking losses. Now we must prevail, with only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior, but I can hold my own. And so, we could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. All right, I get the options. Now follow my lead. Got two options. Take Avic's path directly to the tower. Yeah, I'm taking his. I'm gonna take his path. Let's fight him. Let's fight. Screw it. It's three of us. I'm not me. I can kill them all. Hello, monsters. Oh, you can get up here, that's great, okay, that's great, it's great to know, okay, great to know, you can jump up here, wonderful, okay, oh sh... This is crazy. Okay, you guys are a lot better than I thought. Wonderful. Wonderful. So these monsters can get up here. Oh my god, this is mental. What the hell are they firing at me? Uh, look like you. Where are these? Where are they? rockets at me you monster see why they lost so many people though oh my god There's so many oh, you kick me you freaky monster can I go back through the hole I don't think I can can I can I go through can I go through the hole I can haha -ha. okay I can do it from here can't I can stealth from here.
Yeah, I'm not stupid. I'll fight you in my own way, stupid monsters. Stupid monsters. I'm gonna switch. Okay, I'm gonna weasel this. I'm gonna switch now. Switch to my fire one. Yeah, switch my fire one. Uh. Back in here. Jesus is mental. This is mad. Fight to the big guy. He can spit what he wants through here, he can't get me. I'm being protected by a door. So I can shoot it. This is chaotic. I can't believe we, I decided to do this one. Jesus. Really? Fire, you are going to die. Hello, robot. God, this one wants to fight now. Now you This is crazy. Okay, this one's using fire, so maybe right on it. I'm gonna freeze you to death, stupid monster. Oh, damn. This one hates me. 
This one really hates me right now. Jesus, oh, this one's crazy. This one's worse than the big ones. God, that attack's mad. I can't even jump over that. Jump over it here, like one. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was mad. Stocking up. Yep, stock up. Okay, where you going, ammunition wise? Let's save it. Jeez, that was mad. That was on the side that our attack wants us to go. Uh, we just killed pretty much all of them. Yeah, so his his path should be clear now. Got too much already. I'm not going her way. No, if we've done all that. Oh dear, 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 dear. I'm saying I'm not like the others. I'm a crazy person who weasels my way. We soon join them. Take whatever supplies are left. Keep us alive a bit longer. Let their efforts harden our hearts. Got a cannon. I'll take this. Taking this cannon in case I need it. These towers pulse with heat. I can also What the f this? Oh, it's a gorilla pigs. They're the gorilla ones, they aren't they? Yeah, it's the gorilla ones, I think. Jeez. Is it? Are they the those the ones that look like gorillas? I think they are, aren't they? The far door was open the last time. The demon has closed it to us. Then we'll find another way. Look at this way now, then. Perhaps we should go up. We must find a way past, as you said. God, this is mad. It's going to be an even bigger robot to fight at the end, isn't there? Something ridiculous. Or a swarm of them. Forget about travelling light. Okay, I've got to go in there. Uh, what was that? What was that? What was that noise? Oh, this is not going to be fun, is it? Is oh. Projector. Maybe to show holograms without a focus. Let's see if I can restore power. Aratak Araya, you might see shapes drawn from light. Don't be alarmed. It'll take more than light to alarm me. Let me listen to this first. Or like read the notebook. Okay, I admit it. I watched the hollow, t hollow of the toast six straight times, taking in every detail. Anita smile, the way she giggled at her own jokes, my clumsy handoff to Cyan. Every time it played for a second, I felt I was there again, and with her among friends, savouring our success. 
With diminishing returns, of course, by the sixth time I was just staring at Anita and feeling really creepy about it. But I can be forgiven, can't I? It was the best night of my life. Besides, I'm entitled to a little nostalgia. We saved the world from fire and death, or at least suffocation, by Ash. So there's that, right? Thank you for being here, everyone. I suppose it's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano, right? <laughs> Unless you're George, and I can hardly blame him for drinking on the job. <laughs> None of this would be here without our beloved director, Henny Chow. So, here's to you, Kenny. <laughs> you put a cork in the Yellowstone caldera. <laughs> I'd say you deserve a margarita. This <laughs> is everyone. I'd like to add something. This effort wouldn't have been possible without our lead programmer. Thank you, Anita, for bringing us our real mastermind, Cyan. I'll second that, Director Chow. All right, Cyan, what's our latest number? The current count is 1,654. <laughs> <laughs> well, then... Drink up, everyone! Here's to 1,654 more years without an eruption! <laughs> it was the spirit. The old ones. I could only grasp some of what they said. You were right, Aria. This place was built to stop something terrible. And it worked. Thanks for the spirit. I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open. The geothermal plant can be suspended. The cooling system masked. Massive challenges solved. So why am I so nervous about the next part? All we need to do is install Anita's mysterious software and have a conversation. It's not even a human being. Someone tried to shut it down then. Did it turn rogue? It must have turned rogue and attacked them. Fighting him, okay. Burn. Okay, you want to fight? Let's do it. Stance. Dirty robots. I was looting your stupid robot. He's proper protecting the small ones here. Yeah. 
Are you attacking just me? Attack the others? I'm not the only one fighting you. In fact, I'm not the one doing the most damage, you jerk. Trying to get rid of the rocket thing if I can. Jerk. It's only after me. It's stuck down the hole. Kill it. Uh, this bloody robot, it's only attacking me. Stupid. See, it's ridiculous, it's only attacking me, and there's like three of us. Stupid robot. The fact they didn't attack anybody else is kind of irritating. Right, now I need to craft more potions. I need, yeah, I'm not going to be able to craft any because I've got no ingredients for it. Wonderful. Yes, I got them. It's fine. Right, I'm going to finish it here guys, and the next one we'll go through this door and hopefully be able to complete it and not be ambushed by more and more robots, but we'll see. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching, and until next time, take care.